Hi, my beautiful people. It's your girl here, Angela Queen. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are okay. And uh, I'm not going to bother you guys so much about this video. It's follow up from the video that I did um the last and uh, on the last my last video actually. And uh, <clears throat> I just want to say I've got a date for my surgery, and which is on the 16th of December, and I'm very excited about it. And um, yeah, I've done my pre-op assessment just after i did my um the video um everything went well with my pre-op assessment and did all the blood work um checked my weight and everything was fine except for me adding a little bit of weight on and um which is okay so because the reason why that weight <laughs> added obviously because after they canceled my um, surgery twice and i give up i did actually give up i was like you know what um, i'm not going to really bother shrinking liver where I did diet twice, I was on diet for 10 days um, to shrink my liver, so which I did. So after that, and just the day to my surgery, and the, the surgery date was cancelled. So it was kind of like devastating for me. So that's the reason why I was just like freely eating, you know, I didn't care. You know, so I'm, I told you guys if I'm a foodie, I love food. I like to eat, even though I don't really eat that much, you know, anymore, like the way I used to. So, yeah, so that was the reason why my weight, I added that um, weight on. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to like share the weight that I added on already um, for my um, for my surgery. I hope I'll try and see how it goes, obviously, because I've eaten everything, all the good food. I've enjoyed it. So I don't really, there's nothing I'm missing right now. So, yeah. And a lot of people do that. They after this before the surgery, they go and do like some takeaway, having kebab, KFC, McDonald's, and stuff. I've done all that actually. So um, yeah, I'm not um, I'm not missing any food right now at all. So yeah, so the sixteenth of December, I'm looking forward to my surgery this time around. Yeah, so. Yeah, just I'll let you guys know the good news and hopefully I'll be taking you guys along with me to the hospital and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes from there. And again, I just want to encourage every woman out there, if you want to have this surgery done, my dear, just go for it. If it's free to you, uh, whichever country you are, I don't know, here in UK, I know you have to be on, on a waiting list um, if, you, if you're with NHS. Um, it's it's okay obviously I, if they refer you well you, all you have to do go to the you can't you can't refer yourself go to the your go to your doctor and your doctor will refer you to the hospital that does it and all you have to do is just take it from there seeing or they, they will ask you advise you and probably weigh you as well check your bmi and see what you've done to lose try to lose weight in the past and then um, yeah, so that's what it's all about, actually. And after all that, the journey starts. And they're all there to help you. They will advise you of any, 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 every step of the way. They will do that. And again, you have to have like a family as well, family who are there to support you, you know, even though they don't really understand what they understand is operation. So they get scared. There's nothing to be scared about, honestly. So yeah, you go through that because I've been there before because I had the gastric by, by band done before. That um, I think I don't think that the gastric band is that popular anymore. So I had it done and it slipped and they took it off. So um, I've been waiting to have this surgery done for about two years now, and I I, I can't tell you guys how excited I am that it's finally happening. So yeah, and obviously now I'm happy that quite a lot of people, people who kind of understand that, are actually getting to know the meaning of the bariatric surgery. And I heard them, um, you guys probably know the, um, the well, funny lady, uh, Aniola Badmos. And she went on, on, on undergo, um, uh, what's it called, B gastric bypass. And she did it. And um, yeah, everybody was kind of like really shocked. I was shocked myself, like, oh, what did she do? Why is she losing that much weight, obviously? Because she was really like, really a big girl and stuff. Like, yeah, look at her now. She's really... You know she's losing weight and she's happy and she's very energetic and doing things and dancing more and stuff like you know so i'm really happy for her and then she's happy too obviously because she said she was a foodie she could not help it anymore so there's a lot of women out there it's not easy you can do exercise so you get fed up it's not that you're not going to be doing some exercise and stuff like obviously doing having this weight surgery is um actually weight surgery that you do it's a tool 
it's, it, it just help you to you know to start the journey of your weight loss because even though you have the, the the surgery does not mean that you're going to lose the weight it can go wrong as well you can put all the weight on back your stomach can get you know extended and stuff so that's exactly what happens so what you have to do you still need to manage your weight as well so that's why they said it's a tool that help you with the journey and one of the things is that there with the, the, the bariatric surgery as well when you if you follow the right directions it does eliminate any illness that you have like for example, people who are on medication or insulin for diabetic type two or any diabetic, they, they stop and asthmatic. They stop taking inhaler, and there's quite a lot of things that actually make people. If you do, if you do that surgery, you end up they end up taking you off all your medication, even blood pressures and stuff. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why you know we all you know go through and do it. And even though you don't, you don't need to wait to have like illness. Before you can think like, say, oh, you know what, or oh, let me start. Start the journey now. Prevent all those diseases, you know. It's, it's, the earlier, the better. Not when you have it already, then you're like, okay, the doctor will be telling you, you need to do this surgery and before you can do that. And, you know, I have a friend of mine who actually I spoke to a few days ago. And, she, you know, she said she's on insulin and um, she's diabetic as well. And she was saying, oh, they offer her the surgery. And I said, you know, just take it. Honestly, I'm here to support you. Just take it. If they offer you to do the surgery, just do it because it will help you. And the insulin, you will stop taking it. And obviously, all those medications, they all have side effects. You know, so these are the reasons why um, we go through all these things. And when you do that, you, you will stop medication and stop all those things. You know, you just, it's just it's a journey, but it's a good journey, though. The only regret you definitely have later is, oh, why did I not have it sooner? So that's the only um, regret you will have. So it's something I advise people to say, you know what, if you want to do half the journey, if you want to have this surgery, if, if the doctor offer you this surgery, please go for it. The doctor is not the one who's going to do the surgery for you. They're going to refer you. When you refer you and go to the hospital, then you can speak to them and you will see you get used to it. It's not just going to happen overnight. As I said, obviously, I've been waiting for two years. Maybe I would have had mine done a long time ago, but because of all this COVID thing going on, so it's been one year extra waiting. And, you know, so the hospital were closed and everything was closed down. So it was kind of really difficult. So that's the reason why my one actually stayed that long. Because I think when, you, when they refer you, I think it's up to six months waiting UK. I think so. But if for people who stay longer, um, for you to, like maybe they say some of the people stay one year, two years, it depends on their health and depends on how much they weigh. Because if you're overweight, they cannot, you can't go through the, the, those surgeries. So you need to lose some certain weight before you can go through it. So yeah, that's what happened. Um, yeah, I'm getting really excited and I will let you guys know. But the reason why I'm doing most of this video for weight loss is actually to support women out there. I've made a lot of friends from YouTube from this video that I'm making. Honestly, we're here to support each other, to make each other happy. It's not all about coming to YouTube and doing other things. And, you know, we still need to look after our health. And there's a lot of people who are so shy or who have been, people have been judged based on their weight or based on the way they look and they want to do something they don't know they don't know the solution or know the road the, the path to take so that's the reason why um i'm doing most of this video and being a person who have had the experience before so i can you know explain myself to you know to people who are willing to have it done and if they have any question or anything they can speak to me through there so yeah that's that's one of the main reasons of and for this video actually uh, it does help and even a lot of people who go through a lot of fertility issues and this uh, bariatric surgery does help as well because obviously you guys know that when we uh, women overweight it does get an um, effect on we having and you know our fertility problems and stuff so it does so having the surgery done we definitely you know, increase our fertility. And a lot of people have had a baby, had babies after the surgery. And yeah, it's easy to do that. And that's one of the main reasons a lot of people do, um, you know, the, uh, the way surgery. And it, it helps, you know. So, and I'm happy to be, 
you know, to be in that journey as well. So and I'm here to let you guys know. So yeah, and I'm really excited to let you guys know that I can't wait. And um, yeah, 16, just, December is just around the corner. But the only bad thing is that I'm not going to be able to eat for Christmas. So when people are eating um, roast turkey and everything, so I'll be on smoothie. <laughs> so I'll be on... I'll be on smoothie or I'll be on clear liquid or whatever it is that I have to take in. So, yeah, it's okay. I, you know, so it's for the best anyway. So, um, I'm not worried about that at all. So, when that time comes, then we talk about that. So, yeah. Yeah, guys, I just want to let you guys know. So, um, if you love my video and you know that you're in a journey, same journey of a bariatric um, surgery or if you're in on the waiting list, waiting list or if you have done it, um, why don't you comment below and let me know and how your journey is going and how is everything going generally and how um, you just yeah just let me know just you know, comment below and let me know so that yeah I'll be glad and happy to reply you guys back okay so I'm going to end this video here and the next video probably you're going to see might be in the hospital so yeah I'll let you guys know um, how it all goes i just can't wait i'm getting excited now so now um i'm shrinking my liver so um shrinking obviously i have to be on diet so yeah that's the journey for you guys i'm not going to be eating now till um i am i'm going to be eating but just like moderate obviously i need to just you know eat and all those fat and take away food and all that so yeah so that's the reason why um yeah it's going to be difficult but not difficult but it's a journey I had to do it. Yeah. And again, for my health sake as well. So anyway, my lovelies, and I just want to say I thank you guys so much for all your support. And I really appreciate you guys so much. And keep supporting. And, and I'm here to support you guys too, whichever way or whatever you're doing on YouTube. Um, your girl is here to support you in any way. So yeah, thank you guys so much. And I really appreciate you guys for those of you that have been following me, that are still there. For me, I love you guys so much, honestly. Thank you guys so much, and I really appreciate it. And to all my subscribers, to my new subscribers, and to the ones that are still coming, just keep supporting your girl, and I'm not going to let you guys down this time, I promise. So, yeah. So, let's carry on and take the journey of weight loss. So, yeah. All right, guys, and I'll see you guys soon on my next video. Love you guys. Bye.